What is going on, everybody? Chris Moken here. Uh, thank you for watching this video, uh, clicking on it, doing the thing. I appreciate it. Um, but uh, I wanted to do a little channel update. I know a bunch of folks have been doing channel updates and things of that sort uh, on their channels, and, and I guess this is going to be not that much different. It's just going to tell you guys about what's going on with me and where some of the shows that I do um, are, are headed, in what direction they're headed, in what frequency you will be seeing them going forward, um, and j what I'm trying to achieve with this channel, whether you're watching my videos on Facebook or YouTube or Rockfin or Odyssey or you listen to the audio version of the, the stuff I put out, I want, I want you guys to know you know, what's going on with it and uh, some of the changes that are going to be coming up. <clears throat> so if you're watching this on the, the day or the week that I drop it, it's the week of August 9th. So August 10th is when I'm recording this video and, and, and putting it out to the world. So August, the week of August 9th, you will probably notice that I have not done a live stream this week. And that is kind of on purpose. So going forward for the rest of August... Um, I will not be doing a live stream. I probably won't be doing a live stream until uh, it looks like Labor Day, which is September 6th. And the reason for that isn't because I hate doing the live streams or I'm, you know, sick of all the shit. Fucking done with the news, man. Like, no, it's, it's not any of that. It's, uh, it's just because I'm very exhausted and burnt out. Um, and need a little bit of a break, need a little bit of a mental health hiatus from the streams. Um, so what does that mean for the, for the road reflection live streams that I do? Well, in order to kind of keep things fresh, kind of keep things interesting for, for me, um, and as well as you, because I think if I did these live streams while I was burnt out, I wouldn't be providing the best content for you guys. Meaning, I if I'm not particularly into the things I'm talking about, um, then I'm just going to kind of be going through the motions. And I'm not really going to be excited to share this stuff. It's not going to come with the same passion and the same veracity that I normally put these, put these videos out, put these podcasts out in. So I'm taking a little bit of a step back. So what does that mean? For the, well, for the rest of August... Likely what I will do is shorter videos um, that won't be live streams, but they will still be in the same format, the format of the loose rants, right? That's kind of what they are. The, I take my notes, and then based on the notes, I, I, do, I rant about a particular topic or article or what have you, right? So that's probably what I'm going to do. Not this week because I really need a break. Um, I woke up this morning kind of dreading the fact that I had to do a live stream, and that definitely means that I've hit a burnout point. Um, it's it's not the dread of, like, fuck every – like, it's not that kind of a dread. It's just, like, the dread of putting the energy into making something that I want to make and not having the amount of energy that it takes to make that thing. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm taking a break. I'm going to do some shorter videos, kind of similar to what I did when I had that security job, right? When I was getting used to, do, to, to that security job, uh, you know, it took me a couple of weeks. But in that, cup, in that couple of weeks, I put out those short videos about a particular article, story, topic, what have you. And they're anywhere from, you know, 10 to 25 minutes, whatever the topic might be. So I might do, so, I might do some more of that you know, starting next week, running through till the end of August. Uh, so that's that's one thing. The other thing I might do and, um, you know, try to add into the repertoire is writing shorter videos. Um, and the way that I want to do this is I want to make these videos a part of the Forkful of Noodles series. Some of you might know if you guys are are, are avid viewers of my channel, uh, avid avid viewers of the, the shit that I put out there. 
Uh, Forkful of Noodles right now is being recorded in front of a virtual audience, so you hear some laughter in the background, um, and uh, usually they cover one specific topic. Um, and, and the way the show has kind of veered over the years, I started this in 2013, and it was kind of this commentary slash sketch show, and it evolved into just being kind of a talking head kind of program, right? Like something that you might see on a Redacted Tonight or, or old school daily show type stuff. Um, and, and then now it became kind of much larger, uh, you know, delving much deeper into one particular topic. Uh, and having a historical context to the topics at hand, because I believe history is very, very important. I believe history is is important to learn so that we don't repeat history again, and we can learn about why things are the way they are. It gives us it gives us a little bit more context. I also think psychology has a lot to play with it. So, like psychology, mental health mixed with history and and how that trauma is is a part of our zeitgeist and has influenced all of the things around us those are the contexts that i've taken to that video series what i want to also do with it and something that i have personally taken a lot of joy in is uh media criticism right uh, especially with corporate media looking at the way corporate media report certain things um, looking at the way certain articles are written and how that applies to the subject that they're writing about. So what I would like to do is take some of the topics, maybe it's one or two articles, maybe it's an article about line three, maybe it's an article uh, or, 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 or a podcast about, um, you know, Adam Schiff or uh, about guaranteed income, whatever it is. Look at one to three articles and address that topic, and address that topic in how it's being reported. I hope that makes sense, because it makes sense up here, and then sometimes when I verbalize them out loud, it sounds like gobbledygook. So I hope that makes sense. So I want to try to do that. And what that's going to do is, one, it's going to kind of bolster up the Forkful of Noodles uh, series, especially when I don't I have a new topic that I want to dive deeper into particularly fleshed out i can do these little ones and kind of put the videos out it'll be fun for me because i'm writing in a different context that i don't think i've really written in before so that's a fun challenge for me and it's going to be shorter these videos aren't going to be 30 40 minutes long they're probably going to be 10 to 15 minutes at most so those are two things that i'll probably keep doing throughout the month the other things I want to do and really start in incorporating into into like the regular content that I'm putting out are essays and reviews. I'm a huge I'm a huge nerd. I love comic books and 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 music and movies and all this other stuff, but all of these things very much have political context to it. They are influenced by the world around us, right? Like art good art is influenced by the world around us. It's influenced by current events. Um, and I would like to talk about them because I like talking about these things, right? So, like, I want to do a review of something like Eleanor Goldfield's new EP. I still haven't had a chance to sit down and write a review of the whole album, and it's a phenomenal album. Uh, things like Masters of the Universe. I know I kind of did a ranty review of it a couple weeks ago, but I want to write something concrete down i i like writing I'm, I'm i'm i think i have a writer's brain i know i have a writer's brain not i think i know i have a writer's brain and i would like to exercise that muscle a little bit more um so that's another way to do that you know there's songs and 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 other things like and i and you know i wanted to do live streams with them but i think because of the way my schedule right now is um, going to be filled out, that's going to be a little bit harder to do to get the time to kind of hit that live stream. But I can write about it and release it when I feel comfortable with the piece. I also want to write certain essays, um, you know, talking about various different topics. Like one of the topics I want to address is um, mental health in our society there's been a lot more conversations about mental health and i know i'm, I'm starting with that one uh as i'm saying hey i kind of need a mental health break from the stuff that i've been doing 
right? Uh, but another thing of like why I criticize the Democratic Party as an immigrant that became a citizen, right? Um, how celebrity culture has infiltrated politics and how um, certain political philosophies have influenced the world of comedy. Uh, and, and, you know, they're, they're kind of op-ed pieces, kind of essays, stuff like that. So those are things that I would like to work on. And I think if I take a little bit of space and start working on them, it'll push me to start incorporating that into my regular schedule. Meaning the essays, the, the little short ranty videos, and the little short forkful of noodles media literacy videos will all become a part of the, the, the weekly content that I put out there. Um, so that's the goal with taking this break, taking the space, working on these projects, and then figuring out a good way to incorporate them into my schedule to keep things fun and interesting for me on a creative level and for you guys as an audience that watches my stuff. Does, I, I hope all of this is making some kind of sense. Uh, again, it's one of those things where like it makes a whole lot of sense up top, and then when it comes out into words, it's like, I, what are you saying? Um, lastly, the other things that I do is Taboo Table Talk, which is the interview podcast that I have. That, I've got two interviews uh, pre-recorded that I'm going to be releasing um, coming this Thursday. That's August 12th and August 19th. After that, I'll be taking a two-week break from that podcast and uh, returning it to it on September 9th. And the dispatches are still going to be a thing. I'm still going to do one interview episode and one dispatch episode just so I can give them a little bit of separation. Um, but same thing with the dispatches. There will be one on the 13th and one on the 20th, and then it won't come back until the 10th, on uh, September 10th. Um, and what I'm doing with the dispatches, again, is kind of looking at a particular story, a particular topic, and trying to, 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 to deliver the information through a historical, psychological uh, context so we can understand how we arrived where we are and why things are happening the way that we are. That's kind of really a big goal for the channel and big goal with my stand-up as well. So that's the other part of why I think uh, I'm a little exhausted and need a little bit of this break is because I've started booking some stand-up shows, which means that I really want to make sure that this new stand-up comedy show that I have written called The Citizen Revolution is good. That it it is... A, it, how do I put this? I want it to be as good as the previous show that I wrote and released in 2020, right? And in 2019. I, I, I want this show to, to be as meaningful as it can be. I want this show to be uh, more of myself on stage. Um, so again, kind of personal stories, historical anecdotes, that sort of stuff. And the whole point of that show is what is our duty as a citizen and and uh, there's a lot of talk about why I, socialism is so important and how socialism has already been a major part of our society, so on and so forth. So I want that to be really good. And I'm trying to book these shows. So, you know, I have a bunch of shows already lined up and ready to go. And I got to promote those shows and I got to get press for those shows because I'm not famous. I don't have an enormous following, you know, like I'm not I, I would love to be at this level but I know that I'm not at the level of someone like Ron Placone or Graham Elwood or Lee Camp or Jimmy Dore, right? I would love to be somewhere even close to that level, but I know I'm not at that level. I, I, I have a nice following, and I'm very appreciative of the people that have followed my work and come out to see me uh, perform live comedy, but I know I'm not you know, selling out hundreds and hundreds of tickets. If I can sell 25 to 30 tickets in every city that I go to, uh, I'm I'm golden. I'm doing really, really well. I can pay my openers. I can pay my bills, and I feel pretty good about that. So I've got all these dates. I've got all this promo work to do. And then on top of that, you know, there is a certain level of uncertainty uh, uh, that kind of comes with trying to do this during the pandemic, right? Uh, folks are getting vaccinated. Some folks aren't. There's the, the variants that are coming out, and that all means that, you know, at any moment, if things get, if things go topsy-turvy, 
then we're going to have to reschedule these shows. Um, so that gives me a little bit of additional stress to deal with, additional anxiety to to manage and things of that sort. So, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, that kind of stress is, is, is also kind of what's um, leading me down to the path of burnout, leading me down to the path where I need to take a much longer break than I anticipated from the the regular content that I put out. Uh, and, you know, the other thing is I'm still dealing with the bank and my car. Um, you know, I still have my car. I'm still making payments on it. But, you know, they're, they're calling me and leaving me voicemails. And when I call them back and try to talk to them, they're unavailable and they call me at inconvenient times. Um, I'm going to probably have to get uh, a, a litigator of some kind, and that's additional stress. So, you know, all of those things compounded, I think, led me to the point where um, I woke up this morning and felt dread uh, for, for doing the work that I want to do just because I feel like I don't have the energy that I want to give to it, the energy that this work deserves to be granted uh, you know, from me, like I want to put, uh, put the, 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 the best effort into creating the work that I'm creating, um, creating the content that I'm creating. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of where things are. Um, that's kind of where things are headed. So again, what I would like to do is continue those virtual shows, create more forkful of noodles, create shorter forkful of noodles with a media literacy component. I would like to continue doing my live streams, but I would also like to continue doing shorter ranty videos uh, that you guys can watch and check out and whatnot. Um, continue to do my interview show and dispatches uh, and, and, and start writing essays and reviews for things that I'm passionate about and try to be a little bit more creative. Um, but doing all this stuff gives me a little bit of variety of things I can work on. It, 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 it pushes my... Uh, creativity pushes my mind it and and it hopefully because there is a lot more variety in the type of stuff I'm doing I will burn out less uh, that is the goal because around this time last year is <laughs> really when I got very very burnt out on a lot of things and then I pushed and pushed and pushed and you know by the time I really took a break it was I, I was I was beyond the brink, so I don't want to get to that point, which is why I'm I'm taking the break now and kind of kind of refocusing a little bit of my energy, um, and, and and reserving some of it so that I can fully recharge, and and come back to you guys and deliver the best content, and uh you know talk about things that I really fucking want to talk about, so I hope all that makes sense, um. And, you know, I always encourage people to be mindful of their own mental health and take the breaks that they need to take, listen to their body, listen to their mind. And I'm reminded by my friend Eleanor Goldfield quite often that rest is radical because one of the things that happens to me is when I do take rest, when I do take a day off or a weekend off or what have you, I tend to feel very guilty, and that guilt leads to more anxiety. That anxiety then taps me out. When when I'm tapped out of energy, I get depressed, and that depression leads to just – it's just this infinite cycle. So getting to that point where rest is radical is, is very, very important. And so if I'm going to encourage that in other people, I should act on that myself, right? I should be the example that I am – preaching out to you guys right like if i'm gonna say hey people should take their mental health into account and take care of themselves and take time out for self-care but i'm not doing any of that that kind of makes me a hypocrite and i'm not interested in in being a hypocrite so uh hopefully you know i uh, i i do get worried but i I have a good group of people that watch this stuff and are pretty supportive, so I hope that you guys understand. And if you're someone that's new and started paying attention to a lot of my stuff, uh, you know, I will be back. I'm going to keep putting out stuff. Just, you know, be patient. And uh, I very, very much appreciate that. Um, in the meantime, as I'm taking this break, there's a ton of content that I've put out in the past. 
uh, that you guys can go check out on all my channels, and I encourage you guys to do that. Uh, so thank you very much. Stay good to each other. Stay good to yourselves, and see you soon.